In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a base shake in Filmora. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to go ahead and go over to my stock media section here. I'm just going to look up a speaker because we're going to use that as the, I guess, like the, the image that it's going to react to the base of the music. I'm going to add that on the timeline here. Let's make it a little longer, maybe two about right here. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the music here. I'm going to go over to my media section. I'm going to import uh music here uh let's see i'm gonna import this right here import that music i'm gonna go ahead and add this to my timeline okay i'm gonna play this so you guys can hear how it sounds Yeah, I think we're going to cut it right here. I'm going to select these two, go ahead and use uh, my click to split tool here, delete the rest of this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and make this a little bigger here. Uh, let's go ahead and make it fit the timeline. All right, now this is what it looks like here. Now to make it react, I'm going to go over to my effects and I'm going to go over to audio effects. So, all right, so go over to the last one here, which is uh, audio driven uh, effect here. So there's so many options here that you can use. You can do blurs, you can do glitches, but the option I want to select here is going to be the audio driven zoom effect. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click drag and drop this above the video. Okay. Or the image, I guess. And I'm going to make this fit the entire timeline. All right. So I'm going to play this with the default settings that it has. I'm going to play this. So you don't see anything here, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to double click on uh, the audio driven zoom effect, double click on it. Now, as you can see here, we have two different settings that we can change here. So on the top, you have the base uh, threshold for loudness. Okay. So if the base hits that threshold, it's going to start reacting here. Right. So let me lower this a little bit. So this you can always tweak uh, to um, how you want it to look. So you also have the treble threshold for loudness as well. So this you can lower the requirements uh so let's start with that okay i'll play this all right so you can see that now this is this is moving <laughs> pretty much so i'm going to increase this a little bit because i don't want it to react uh that uh like that all right you can do the same thing for the base as well go ahead and increase that all right if you want it to calm down a little bit Well, that should go ahead and tweak this until you achieve uh, what you're trying, what you want it to look like. Now, that is pretty much it when it comes to how you can create a bass shake effect in Filmora, which is pretty cool. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.